guys, this video is long overdue. When I first made my first TM Talk, I did a Q&A because I didn't know what this series was going to be and I just wanted to answer a few questions about myself. When really what I should have been doing was introducing myself because you guys don't know me. The only thing you guys do know is I can play ukulele and guitar and that's it. So I'm going to introduce myself. <laughs> Um, so hi, my name is Eden Darlene, and that is actually not my real name. That's the first fact for you. My real name is actually private, but I will tell you my last name, and that is Borgerding. And I'm sure my name is out there somewhere, I don't know. But if you find it, I would appreciate you not spreading it everywhere. <laughs> so thanks. My middle name is Darlene, which is where I got Darlene from. Um, my middle name was actually supposed to be Lynn, but my parents, my parents, my parents changed it to Darlene because they feel like that was a little more, a little more fitting. So another fact that you should probably know about me, which you can probably guess, <laughs> you can't see the entire thing, but I promise the rest of the flag is there. I am a homosexual. I'm gay, lesbian, queer, whatever you want. And I actually came out, technically I came out at the age of nine <laughs> which is so weird because uh nobody comes out at nine i don't think i came out to my brother first of all i kind of just came out to him by just saying i i think i might like chicks or something like that i think i might like girls and he was just like okay and then i officially came out officially meaning i came out to my parents um at the age of 12 and i did it through a video and i said the video was basically whoever sent you this is gay and they were and then my mom just sent me an entire paragraph saying it doesn't matter stop being stupid so there you go another fact that you probably know about me is i am very musical very my entire family is very musical um i play the guitar as you probably know i play the ukulele i play kind of the bass and i play the drums uh the drums being once again kind of i also kind of play the piano i'm a mass i'm i do a lot of things but i'm not a master at anything <sighs> my brother plays the guitar he's been playing the guitar for seven years i've been playing the guitar for about two he he's been playing um the drums for around i think uh, one or two years my other brother callan uh, he is a pretty good singer. He could use a little more, um, practicing, but he's a pretty good singer. My dad writes lyrics and my mom sings really well. She also taught herself how to play the piano. So that's my family. <laughs> oh, another fact about me is that I'm planning to write my own album or EP or whatever. I'm just planning to do it. And um, I'm not going to release it until um, I know that it's going to get at least a little attention. <laughs> like, I'm not going to release it if I know that only two people are going to listen to it, you know what I mean? So I will, um, I will release it when I feel like it's ready to be released. <laughs> I have uh, announced the name of the EP, which is Lovesick. This is the cover. It's pretty sick. I'm not gonna say it, shut up. <laughs> Another fact about me, which um, from my music uh, you can probably guess, uh, and I think I also talked about it a little bit, but I have been professionally diagnosed with, anxi with generalized anxiety disorder and major depression. For people who haven't gone to therapy or don't know anything about um, mental disorders, major depression is actually not as bad as it sounds. So major depression is kind of the lowest dose you can get of it. Major depression is kind of mild depression, but I have a little bit more severe version of major depression. So like, it's not chronic. <laughs> I definitely don't not have depression, you know what I mean? So. There you go. The generalized anxiety disorder is actually the most common diagnosis of anxiety um, and it's also uh, the least severe. So I'm happy about that. I would be happy if I didn't have anxiety, but it's, uh, yeah. Also, I am a sugar addict. Um, I would like to say that I'm a caffeine addict, but I'm really not. <laughs> like I can go without caffeine for 
a while, as long as I have um, Arnold Palmer's, which is a type of iced tea. Um, and that has like a whole bunch of sugar in it. So obviously I'm a sugar addict and I'm not a caffeine addict, even though this soda has a lot of caffeine in it. However, it does have 75 gr Wow, that's a lot of sugar. <laughs> Another fact about me is I am super insecure. Insecure about my hands, more specifically my fingers. Um, because first of all, I play guitar. So this, my left hand, because I'm right-handed, my left hand uh, is super like calloused and I'm fine with that. Except for my middle finger, always I always accidentally, well I don't accidentally, I unconsciously pick at it and I like pick the skin off and it's super hard to play guitar. Um, and that's why all of my covers are like super spread apart because I need time for my fingers to like, I don't know, heal. But also this thumb, I also, I'll, both of these thumbs, I keep picking at the skin of this thumb. If you see me wearing gloves, it's probably because I picked at my skin so much that it's so sensitive. I can't touch anything, which has happened before. And it's not fun, it's not a fun feeling. It's like your sense of touch is like heightened, like the sensitivity is heightened to like 100. And it's terrible, it's awful. So if you see me wearing gloves ever, it's that's the reason. Another fact about me is not only am I good at writing music, but I'm also a music lover, which kind of corresponds with each other. But I'm going to share with you some of my favorite artists. So I have two vinyls and quite a few CDs. I don't have a lot of CDs, but I have qu quite a few. <laughs> so first of all, I have Paramore by Paramore. <laughs> this CD is awesome. I love it. Um, it's great. I love the interludes as well. I wish I could write songs on ukulele like that, but I really can't. I also have Bloom by Troy Sivan, and I got, I got a sh deal as well, because well, I got a deal for like the case because the CD is fine. The CD is great, but I got on the case because it, uh, every time I open it, it breaks. However, uh, if you can tell, that's not the actual because the actual um, album cover is black and white, and this is purple and black, and that's because um, this has like two. Uh, bonus tracks on it, which I'm super happy about. I also have um, Vices and Virtues by Panic at the Disco. I love Panic at the Disco. I think I'm wearing a Panic at the Disco shirt. I am. Um, so yeah, I, I love this band. I love them. I love Brendan Yeri. We also have some Taylor Swift. I don't like this album. I could do without it. I could like trade it for like Lover, Reputation, the 19... 85 is that what the is that what the album's called but i do have another album by taylor swift it's called fearless i love that album <laughs> the the cd is just downstairs also we have conan gray sun sunset season oh my god i am in love with him i'm in love with conan gray he's so pretty i love him <laughs> have a uh, sunset season on cd and i have kid crow on iTunes so I do have all of his albums it's just on different platforms another one I have is Palais Royale and this is Boom Boom Room side B and I'm just going to say this um, Emberson which is the drummer is amazing at art he drew all of this and um, I really want Emberson's pencils so Emberson if you're watching this which you are definitely not if you're watching this um, send me your pencils please I do have uh, I do have this album on iTunes as well, but I just thought that first of all, this part is so freaking cool. Um, and also, they have like a little booklet which all CDs have, which have like a bunch of like photographs of them, and still all of this, which I'm pretty sure Emerson drew. I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure Emerson drew that, and I just love it so much. He's Emerson is my inspiration for art. I don't know if you can tell. My last CD that I have is Trench by Twin on Pilots, which I also have on iTunes. It's also super cool. I also, my favorite part of this of all these CDs besides the actual music itself is the booklets, which is uh, I feel like everybody says that, but I really do like the booklets because it has all the lyrics and stuff on it. And also, it just looks, also the photographs, but it just looks awesome because Toyota Palace is like so creative and all. it's just, I, I love it so much. So yeah, that's, that, those are my CDs and now to my vinyls. So this is Vessel by 21 Pilots 
and this is Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. I have both of these um, on iTunes and I got the vinyls because first of all I had a vinyl record, record before it broke um, but also the album. This part, this, this itself is just so freaking cool. That's just awesome to me. And um, this one, I didn't know that this was the back of the album, so that one's pretty cool as well. So yeah, those are my those that those are my music tastes. The end of this video. Um, and I do this every TN talk, so I just want to say it. Right now, it's at 15 minutes, but going about this video is probably going to be a bit shorter, like 12 minutes, 13 minutes. I'll I'll check later. <laughs> but yeah, so. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you probably with a different, probably with another cover or an original song. You never know. Maybe I'll write one that's actually good enough to release. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys later.